Welcome to MS Research Australia's Research Report. I'm Dr. Hamish Campbell and in this series we explore the research that's going on in Australia and around the world. In this episode we meet Dr. Wolfgang Marx from the Deakin University. Dr. Marx is busy exploring the interaction between gut bacteria and the effect they have on MS symptoms. In particular, he's fo following some people with MS on a clinical trial who are trialling a dietary supplement. Here's what he had to say about his research. So the way that this uh, project came about was essentially off the backs of some really exciting research that's being done um, in, in the wider chronic disease population. So what we've found now is that the gut bacteria in people with, say, cardiovascular disease, in obesity, depression, hypertension, seems to be different to populations that are otherwise healthy. And what we're now finding is that the same story seems to be true in people with multiple sclerosis. And so um, a, a really great sort of study that gives a, a bit of an insight into where the research is right now is there was this study that recruited um, about 30 pairs of, of twins. And in this population, there was a set of twins that were otherwise healthy, and then there was a set of twins that had multiple sclerosis. And what they found was that there were significant differences in the type of gut bacteria between these two populations. And so this starts to, think, starts to make you think, well, perhaps the type of gut bacteria that we have might be associated with uh, certain chronic diseases, including multiple sclerosis. What the... Uh, researchers then did is went that sort of step further and in a laboratory model they used um, I guess uh, they transplanted a sample of this gut bacteria from these um, from these uh, participants and they transplanted it into this laboratory model and when they did that they found that the um, measures of immune a function and inflammation seem to start acting um, in a way that's uh, close to what happens in multiple sclerosis. So that essentially is saying that perhaps not only is it associated, but it might be a significant driver in the disease itself. What we also know is that diet and nutrients seem to play a significant role in how we shape our gut microbiome and the type of bacteria that live in our gut. And so the question that we had is, if we can feed the gut the right type of nutrients, can that then have a flow-on effect in terms of symptom management? And that's essentially where the project was born. So within our gut, there's a whole host of different types of bacteria, and these bacteria uh, interact with each other. And this sort of interaction between different types of bacteria as well as their interaction with the rest of our body is kind of called the gut microbiome. So what we intend to do with this project is essentially link into an existing clinical trial called the RELIEF trial. And what this trial is looking at is the effect of a combination of nutrients on fatigue and depression in people with relapse remitting uh, multiple sclerosis. What we want to do is link in and look at the same participants, so there's 150 participants that are going to be enrolled in this trial, and look at the microbiome at baseline, so when they start their trial, and at 16 weeks when they complete this, their trial. And by doing so, we'll be able to know what, if, if any, is the role of the microbiome in modulating any uh, improvement in clinical symptoms of fatigue and depression. So I think the importance of the results from this trial is that we currently know that there's all sorts of things that can change the type of uh, gut bacteria that we have. So by that I mean things like met the types of medications that we have, but also uh, our lifestyle factors, so things like sleep, exercise, and in particular diet and the types of nutrients that we're taking in. And in fact, it's been estimated that the majority of the sort of variability in our gut bacteria is attributed to diet. Now, if we can show that the gut microbiome is uh, influencing clinical symptoms of things like fatigue and depression, then this essentially opens up a uh, 
a pathway where we can intervene in a particular part of the body um, and we can develop things like targeted medications, but also things like dietary and nutrient interventions to try and treat multiple sclerosis through this new pathway. So the hope for our trial is that currently fatigue and depression are both highly prevalent, highly burdensome, and the types of medications and uh, standard treatments for these symptoms are not always effective in this patient population. If we can show that the microbiome can um, influence clinical symptoms of fatigue and depression, then that offers a potential pathway to patients that uh, we can use targeted therapies, including low-cost, widely available interventions such as dietary interventions and nutrient supplementation. Now that's an overview of Dr. Marx's project on gut bacteria and MS. Make sure you go to our website for more information, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future research reports. I'm Dr. Hamish Campbell and I'll see you next time.